Baxter's Gambit. It's going better than I hoped. I hear people are starting to call you their savior. Agreed. He's done well. But I've seen this kind of thing before. Your citizens can't make a hero out of a mercenary. Eventually, he's going to fall out and leave you defenseless. Your people have to liberate themselves. Well, then, then we'll give them a symbol to rally around. Like the palace. We'll destroy the Liao palace. Break through the heart of Liao defenses and destroy the palace. The seed of Liao power on Carver Pa. Destroy Liao elite guard. Destroy Liao palace extract. Hopefully they're in heavy mix. Mine layer would be an easy and cheap way to do it. Oh, there are uh, probably at least a couple of catapults. I hate those. Yeah, a couple of catapults, maybe a cyclops. Hmm. If we take things easy, uh, I don't think we should have too much trouble. But there are a lot of defensive walls here, heavy defensive walls. With, with a huge amount of turrets, these little nibblets here. Wall nipples are where the turret controls are. Okay, Commander, I'm about to ask you to undertake a difficult task. Despite our efforts, the people of Carver 5 are dying every day this war drags on. They need to know that the end is in sight and we need to break the Steiner Leo alliance. I'm asking you to take your team and beat them against the best of Leo forces on the home ground. If you can break through and destroy Leo Palace, Carver 5 will know the tide is changing and Steiner will be left without an ally. We can win this war, Commander, but only with the help of the people. They need to know that if they fight for us, they won't die in vain. Show them that the noble houses are not invincible. They will rise up. Tactical Officer notes. Sir, might I remind you that the palace is one of the most heavily fortified areas on the entire planet. Major Kelly's forces will spearhead the assault. Once she's opened an alley into the palace sector, we're on our own. Even if we can break through the perimeter wall and its defenses, we'll still have to deal with the elite guard. These are Leo's best mech warriors, they won't be like anything we're used to dealing with from Liao. My prof professional opinion is that this is a suicide run, Commander. Well, Combat capabilities probably are, I guess, consideration here. So we're not gonna take some kind of scanning piece of current. Jump capability would be bad. Anything new? New battle mix. Bloodass. Ninety ton. I, I'm not sure if this is a clan mech, but it's very fast for an assault mech, and it has clan weaponry. So I'm assuming it's uh, some kind of a clan mech. New weapon systems available. Uh, nice heat, nice armoring, a lot of space, it, it's a good design, full armor is a must, and it's only 4 plays to get that full armor, so there's a huge amount of space left for heat and weapons, this is exactly what we need here, Thunderbolt missile, high damage, Slow rate of fire. Area of effect, I guess. Extreme damage performs well against heavily armored targets. Large size, very expensive. There's no mention of area of effect. Long time. 
it would be good for a certain support situation but I think these are what the static artillery will are basically firing so why would we get the weapon it's it's not useful in how the fights tend to play out okay now we're going for weaponry we are good at using I think for the most part although I don't know We, I think, we'll be taking a split with we between energy weapons and missiles. We need something that packs firepower that doesn't just increase heat. There's no way we can use 64 heat to fill this amount of weapon space. We don't need a man, many long-range weapons, though. The harder fights will be for the medium range, so they won't matter much there. Not sure I should spend 24 heat just to get two extended range clan lasers, when we could spend a lot less heat and get a decent amount of long range capabilities from the missile racks. We might take more, but again, medium range is where the action happens. We'll use the close range and long range missile packs to fill in any gaps. We are going to add heat sinks though. We need... Would clan pulse lasers be good? Rate of fire is very fast. Very, very fast. Damage is pretty crap though. Plan heavy large legend. It, that's insanely powerful. It, it's better than a PPC. Medium range. Decent rate of fire. Extremely heavy damage, medium range, and a silo OP. <laughs> the space it takes isn't all that bad. Holy shit, that, that is properly good. Uh, we can't take too many of them though. And it's not the damage that is all that re really important. We need a lot of shots to get those headshots in. We have the long range capability to do the edge of our range fire shots to disable some turret power, things like that. Four long range missile launchers is good enough. What we want is medium range destructive power. Clan pulse laser wouldn't be terrible. Rate of fire is 6.2 times in 10 seconds, so it's a very nice rate of fire. With the same heat though, we could get two extended range lasers, which we have specialty for. The damage is higher and rate of fire is 3. So if we get two, it should be damage 5, rate of fire 6, or the heat of 10. It, it simply. Uh, well, the rate of fire is nat naturally not going to be that high. It's all, or it's hit 6 but the damage is 2.5, however you want to make it. So actually having two of those seems a lot better option than just having a planet pulse laser. We have specialty on these so... We need more heat.
anything else. Uh, that's the last heat I'll add. And do this. Plan heavy Lars. How heat efficient is this? Uh, compared to the extended range. It. Yeah, well, the damage that is good. I, uh, I think the clax in the range later is. Better. Yeah, it's much better, and it doesn't take so much space. So this has more penetration power, but if we're going for headshots mostly, it's not going to make defense. It's the number of hits that is more important. It, the damage does matter, but that shoots once every 5 seconds. With the extended trans lasers, we can have a pretty much once every 3 seconds, or less, we can have a shot per laser. So that Provides a constant stream of energy weapon fire. Hopefully, it doesn't take all that much heat either, so we can rid of some of the. Yeah. Uh, well, not quite. Yeah, just isn't quite enough. The problem is if we just fill these two with weapons, we don't need the extra heatsink anyway. So I guess we could put in some kind of machine gun or something like that. We could probably change things around a bit to remove that, but I'm not sure we want to really. I'll get rid of one of the extended range lasers, that would be an option. We have 11 of those. Six points of heat. We could add a couple of lasers. God, yeah, it, it just doesn't really work. If we give up the we could easily fill it with short range weapons. Uh, I'm not sure that that's a terrible idea. We might as well do that. Plant poles and uh, short range missile. So Blood ass prime. Yeah, just override something. Medium range attack. That's nice. That's for the AI to. It's going to use medium range, which is preferred. 
We have good armor, we have good speed, decent amount of close range weaponry, so decent amount of medium range weaponry, and a few long range weapons to do this some utility attacking, long range harassing, something like that. And hopefully it'll be good enough. 